Hey what's up creators and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 5 survival game course. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how we can set up the foundation for our user interface for our survival game. On the screen now, you can see what our heads up display for our game is going to look like. You can see on there, we have got our health bar, first bar, hunger bar, objectives, and even the weapons or objects that you can use in your inventory. Today's video is all about setting the foundation for that. That being said, we're actually going to be getting some of these bars displayed on the screen. And then in the next video, we're going to be showing you how we can stylize these to make them look pretty. And as we go through the course, as we develop all of these features, we're going to be linking up all of these user interface elements. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into Unreal Engine 5 and bring all of this to life. So once we're inside of Unreal Engine, the very first thing that we need to do is we actually need to create what's called a user interface widget, which is going to contain all of the graphical and programming elements to make up our user interface. For us, we're going to be doing this within our survival course folder. Inside of here, right click in the content browser and add in a new folder. And we're just going to give this the name user underscore interface. Once we've done this, open that up right click and create a user interface widget blueprint. Like I said, a widget blueprint is going to contain all of the graphical and programmatic elements to bring our UI to life. Use the type user widget there. And then we're just going to give this the name WB for widget blueprint underscore player HUD. And then double click on this to open it up. Now for those of you that are familiar with UMG, that's great. But for those of you that aren't, just a very, very quick overview. If we're in the design view, which can be accessed in the top right hand corner here, we can see the graphical element. And I could take any of these components in the top left hand side and bring them in. If I go to my graph view inside of here, this is where we can do all of the programming to bring our user interface to life with all of our features. That being said, for now, we're going to be working purely within our design view. What we're going to do then with this is in our design view, I want you to start off by adding in what's called a canvas panel. We can do that by simply dragging on that and dropping it into the scene. The canvas panel is just going to give us a blank canvas where we can start adding in components. Now for us, what we're going to do is just to test this, I just want to put some text on our screen. So I'm going to go to my palette, search for text and add in some text. Then with this selected, you can see now I can move this anywhere I like. In the details panel on the right hand side here, we can go to content and change our text. Now, what I want to do is just start off by getting this actually to show some text. And then in a moment, we're going to show you how to actually get this displayed on the player screen. So I'm going to, so I'm just going to set the text to be, if you can see this, it works. And then you can see here now we've got some text that says, if you can see this, it works. Let's go ahead and compile and save this and talk about how we can actually get the player to see this. So when it comes to getting the player to actually be able to see our user interface widgets, again, that's actually really straightforward and only needs a couple lines of code. And we're going to be showing you exactly how we can do that. We're going to be doing this within the player blueprint, which we've set up already. Let's do that. For us to find that, we can go to our first person and blue ready. Let's do that. P underscore first person character. Now inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our event graph. Inside of our event graph, we're going to find some empty space. What we're going to be doing is running some simple code, which is just going to say when we begin play, load that widget blueprint onto the memory and then add it to the player screen. So just three little things. So right click and let's talk about getting the begin play stuff to be done first. So right click and search for event begin play and add that in. And now any code that's hooked up to this is going to execute when the player starts playing. Then once we've done this, what we're going to be doing is dragging out from the execution pin to say this is the code that needs to run from here. We are going to create a widget 
And we can do that just by dragging out and typing in create widgets. And then we're going to set the class to wb underscore player hut. This is going to create that widget and load it onto the memory. What we then need to do from the return value, what we need to do is add this to the viewport. Then once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and press compile and save. And if we press play, we should be able to see our text in the top left hand corner. And I can. And it says, if you can see this, it works. Okay, so now we know how to actually display stuff on our screen. What we're going to take a look at now is taking all of the individual components that are going to make up our heads up display using the reference that we saw. Now, we're going to have a primary focus right now on just getting all of those bars in and the image in the left hand side. So we're going to do that. Let's hop back into that widget blueprint and do this. Our widget blueprint is going to be exactly where we created it, which should be survival course and user interface. Double click on this to open it up. Now let's remove this text. We don't actually need this. Now we can open up the reference here and you have been provided this um, in the link in the description. We're going to be creating these bars down in the bottom left hand corner. And this is made up of a couple of elements. We have an image for the icon, an image for the background, and then we also have a progress bar as well. And we're going to show you how to set all of this up. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and do one of these bars to start with. So in our design view within our widget blueprint, what I want you to do is go to the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to add in a image component and I can do this by going to palette, searching for image and then dragging and drop the image in there. And then I can resize this to make sure that it's going to fit my bar. And there will be an element of you need to take some time to, to make sure that this looks correct. So I've now got my background in here to start with. Let's select this and set the color and opacity of this to be black. So it's the same as that. Then under color and opacity, I'm just going to set the alpha to 0.3 so it's a little bit transparent. Then what I'm also going to do is go to anchors and set this to anchor it in the bottom left hand corner. The reason I'm doing this is because I always want this to show in the bottom left hand corner, regardless of the screen resolution. If I minimize this and press play, you can see we've now got that bar in the bottom left. That's perfect. So we can start adding in all of the other elements. What I'm going to do now is add in another image for the icon like this. And then what I'm also going to do is set up a progress bar for the actual health. And again, all I'm doing is just searching for all of these components in the top left hand corner. And I'm just scaling these and placing them in. Now, because we want all of these to be relative to each other, make sure that we're anchoring these to the bottom left hand corner. Just click on it, go to anchors and you can do that. Now, what we're going to do just to test this is we're just going to adjust the percentage to a higher value and change the color and opacity to a nice red for our health. And we're going to press OK, compile and save. Press play and you can now see we've got our health bar and an icon in the bottom left hand corner. What we don't have right now is we haven't actually imported the icon, but don't worry, that's something we're going to be covering in the next video. But what you do have now though, is we have our background, our progress bar and our icon. What I want you to do is just make sure that these are centered perfectly because we're actually just going to be copying all of this for the other bars. So just place this however you like. Then once we've done this, what we can do is I can select this background by simply left clicking on it, press control C and control V to copy and paste that. And then I can add in the next background and I can do the same thing again. And I can add in the last background also. 
So copy and paste control C, control V to do that, and just copy and paste until we have three of these backgrounds. Hit compile, hit play, and you can see now we've got three backgrounds in the bottom left hand corner. Let's do the same thing with the progress bar. Control C, control V to copy and paste, line that up. And then I know the next one is our water. So we're gonna set the color and opacity on this to be a nice little blue like this. Control C, control V to copy and paste another one of these. And this next one is going to be for our hunger. So I'm gonna make this an orange and I'm gonna press okay. Perfect. Now let's just make sure we've got icons for each of these that are next to this. Control C, Control V to do that. And again, what we want to do is just make sure we select all of these and just make sure everything is always anchored down to that bottom left hand corner. Compile, save and press play. And now you can see we've got our three bars in the bottom left hand corner and that is perfect. What I also want to do is just quickly show you how we can get in some text and a background up here for the objectives. Again, really, really straightforward. The background is actually just one of these black boxes. So again, I can copy and paste this and I can just move this up to the top left hand corner, just like this. And just like before, because we want this to always be in the top left hand corner, I'm just gonna set my anchor point to be the top left hand corner. And now with this, I can go to my palette and I can add in some text. So all I did there, just search for text. And then with this, I'm just going to tell it to say, hey, I want this to be objectives. And I can do that by going to my content and text. I'm gonna reduce the text size under font down to something like 10 because this is just huge. Maybe 12, 15, I think works. Uh, let's go for 13. And again, just make sure this is anchored to the top left. And now we have our objectives text in here. I'm not gonna add in the text that goes below it right now because that's all gonna be driven by functionality. But if you go ahead and compile and save and play, we should now have our bars in the bottom left hand corner and our objectives in the top left hand corner. Now with this, you should start to see that our heads up display is coming to life. We've got our bars, we've got our objective text. Now, at this point, what I want you to do is just spend some time finessing the, the alignment and the size and the colors of all of those different elements that I've just shown you there. What we're gonna be doing in the next video is we're actually gonna be showing you how to take some of the graphics that I've created to bring those icons to life. So that being said, take some time now, make that look pretty, make it look good. And in the next video, it's gonna look even better. That is the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Be sure to jump over to the next video in this course to continue creating your survival game. Don't forget, if you'd like a little bit of help with this, be sure to join our Discord server and meet like-minded developers just like yourself. Also, the entire course for this is available over on our website, the links for which are down in the description down below. As always, stay awesome, keep creating. Virtus, signing out.